We're hitting that time of year where a lot of us are starting to move. Whether you're buying a home for the first time or you're selling your old one and moving up, well, it's important to find a realtor who is going to knock it out of the park. So, how can you find the perfect realtor for you? Well, I've got six questions that you should ask before you hire one. So we are currently in the crazy process of moving. So this beautiful background that you see behind me won't be here much longer. We're going to be moving to a new home here in the next few weeks. And to be honest, when we started this journey just a couple months ago, it was pretty terrifying. The house that we're, I'm sitting in now, we built on our own. So we didn't have the experience of having to negotiate prices or all that kind of stuff. This is a new build. It was pretty easy on paper. We knew what we were getting into. Not only that, but we'd never sold a home before. So looking for the right realtor was incredibly important this time. And so we had to really make sure we found someone who's going to sell our home for top dollar and help us get into the next home at the right price. So what should you do? Just like interviewing anybody, you saw in a previous video, I talked about finding a financial advisor. I want you to interview three different realtors. We want to meet with three people and really figure out who is the best fit for you. Once you get those interviews lined up, there are six questions I want you to ask. Make sure you ask these things among others, but we want to know these things from each of them and see which one most lines up with you and your values, which one just kind of resonates with you and gives you the warm fuzzies when it comes to selling your home. Number one, what's your marketing strategy going to be? This is so important. We want to know what their plan is with your home. Guys, in this day and age, internet sells. Most people make a decision about a home online. As my wife and I were searching for a home, and a lot of you can relate to this, there were some houses that we didn't even consider because of the pictures. In fact, the house that we are about to move into, we weren't even going to go look at because the pictures didn't really look that great. However, the neighborhood was good and we thought maybe it would have potential. We put it on our list to go look at and we fell in love. So it's important that photos are a, a really done well. We don't want somebody coming through with their cell phone snapping photos. No, you want to find a realtor who's going to invest in a photographer, somebody who specializes in home photography. You want to make sure they're going to be doing some online marketing, some maybe a video walkthrough, whatever it is. Let them share how they're going to market your home. Will they be doing open houses? Are they going to have flyers on the sign or will they do a texting service? All of these things are incredibly important and they really boil down to how quickly your house is going to sell and whether or not you're going to get the most for your money. Now, if you want to really know, go look at that realtor's page and see their current listings and get an idea of what the listings they have out there look like now. If the photos aren't good, I personally wouldn't even bother interviewing them because that to me, again, what's online is going to be the most valuable thing that they can bring to the table. Number two, we want to know what their average listing to selling rate is, meaning what do they price it at as a listing and what do they sell it as? How close are those numbers? This is going to reveal a lot of things. We want to know that they're listing it at the right price, first of all. We don't want it listed too high because you're going to be sitting there doing showings for the next few months. Or if it's listed too high, you might not be showing it to anybody. But if they list it too low, well, then obviously you're not going to get the most you'd want for it. So we want to know what that looks like. It's a good thing if they have their sale price pretty close to that listing price. Usually in the high 90% rate is a good thing to look for. So ask them this. They should know these numbers. If they don't, that's a red flag. We want to know how close they're getting with their listing price because that ultimately is going to determine how quickly your house sells. Number three, ask if you can contact some of their past clients. Referrals are huge and of course they're going to send you probably to the happy ones, but that's okay. You can hear why those people are happy. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing to run into people that were happy with their service. So talk to them, see if they'll let you drop those people an email, see if they'll hop on a quick call and just say, what did you love about this person? Um, why, how long was your house on the market? All those questions, just figure out what you 
what you want to know, maybe even the things you're asking the realtor, ask those past clients to see what they would say, if it rings true and if it is in line with what the realtor is trying to sell you. Number four, what makes you different? So what makes them different than the competition? Now, this is also going to kind of line up with that marketing piece, but why, why should you hire them? Here's the thing, you want them to sell you. You, you kind of want this meeting to feel salesy in a sense. Because if they're trying to sell you, then that means they're going to try and sell your home. If they're not trying to sell you as a client, then that's a bad thing. That means they're not going to probably be very aggressive with your home. Um, I don't want to say that's 100% true, but you know when we were choosing realtors, we saw lots of great ones. Um, ultimately, it was the one who sold us the most that we went with. Um, we had a lot that we really liked that we had to go back and forth and it was a long discussion, but it was who, who did the best job selling us and that's who we want selling our home. Number five, have you listed anything in our area recently? So you want to know that they know your area. Ask how familiar they are with your neighborhoods, what's around, do they do other homes here? If not, then I'm not saying it's a deal breaker, but... As you know, within one city, there's a lot of different sections that can vary drastically. So we want to know that they know your specific area, that they've sold homes there, so that they kind of know what, what the demographic is, what some selling points are, all of those things. We want to know. So find out if they've sold homes. Maybe try and see those listings. Find out how long it took for those things to sell if they were on the market. That's going to give you somewhat of an idea of what you can expect from your sale. And finally, if you are selling and buying, ask if they do move up discounts. A lot of times, realtors, if you use them as your selling agent and the buying agent, they'll offer you a discount of some kind. Typically, it's 1%. So as you know, if you are selling a home, you have to pay the realtors, right? Usually, it's 3% per realtor. So your realtor ultimately is going to get 3% at the sale of your home, and then they're going to get 3% again at the, buy, at the purchase of your new home. Um, now, who pays them is obviously different, and that's a different discussion. But a lot of times, realtors will offer you something called a move-up discount. If you use them for both, then they'll discount it, which means at the sale, sale of your home, instead of paying them 3%, they may only charge you 2%, um, which 1% may not sound like a lot, but if it's a $250,000 home, that's $2,500 you just saved. So find out if they do that. Ask. If you're boiling it down between a couple of realtors, you can't choose which one. Whoever offers the best discount is who I would go with if it's really that neck and neck. All right. Guys, there's tons of questions to ask when you're buying and selling a home. It's super important to find someone who is really good. So really put some time and energy into that. If you need a good referral, a good agent around you, be sure to reach out to me via email, info at craigdacy.com. I'm happy to connect you with someone in your area who you should interview. Don't just take my word for it, but make sure that you find a, someone who's good. So drop me a line. If you guys found this video valuable and you want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you back. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you soon. Thanks.